Hey folks, Nathan here. Yesterday we had the first official launch of the Hydron V0.1 rocket. I was pretty happy with how it went, and it's exciting to finally be able to say that I've launched a rocket. So the first step in this process was finding a suitable launch site, and we had three requirements for this. The first, it has to be close to home. We don't want to have to drive too far at this early stage of development. Number two, it's got to be enough space, and keeping safety in mind, we need enough room for the launch without risk of hitting anything or anyone. And number three, water on site. So as we want to be all about in situ resource utilization, it's important to be able to fill our rocket up easily without having to cart liters of water around with us. And after a brief search, we did manage to find a location. With the launch site found, we then had to actually set up the area. So this involved placing out our safety markers for a proper distance. And we did that as follows. So our first step is to loop the pull string around the launcher and then just walk it back the full 15 feet, giving us our safety distance, and then we just chuck down our first marker. From there, we can just walk around in a big circle, putting down markers to get our full safety radius and zoning out the launch site. With our launch site now prepared, we were ready to start launching rockets. We did four launches in total on the day. Uh, the second one was a failure, but launches one, three, and four were all nominal. I'll go into why launch number two failed towards the end of the video. And with that all done, let's start looking at our launches. Alrighty, our first official launch. Very exciting. Going in three, two, one. Amazing. Alright, launch attempt number four, beginning in five, four, three, two, one. And those were our launches. I know it's not a lot at the moment, it's just a bottle firing off into the air, but we've already got a little bit of data and we've got our next steps. So let's take a look at what we've learnt. So the first lesson was that we need to properly check our rocket before launch. So launch number two failed because the latch on the launcher itself wasn't actually holding the rocket down. Uh, so when we pumped it up, we got to seven or eight pumps and then just flew off the pad, um, which is also why we have no footage. Analysis point number two. We can see from the slow-mo of launch number four that when the rocket's going up, before it's even finished thrust, it's already pointing off to the side. All rockets that we flew on the day pointed in the same direction, so I'm quite sure that it's just wind related. Based on the shape of our rocket here, um, I think it's pretty safe to assume that the center of pressure is going to be pretty high up. Um, the top here is quite a bit thicker than the bottom, because we can see the bottom's got this nice curve to it, so the air's going to flow through there a lot easier than it will up here. So that's just going to get pushed over once the wind hits it. So once we add some actual fins to the bottom, that should lower that center of pressure quite a bit so that it doesn't tip over as easily. And having the nose cone on top will also help a lot with that so it can fly straight up a lot more. And the sort of ridges here won't be catching air and helping to push over. From this video, we have two jobs. The first is to chuck our fins and a nose cone on to add a lot more stability to our rocket. And in future, that nose cone should provide a solid area to put our altimeter and future flight computer stuff. And then at number two, our data is currently incredibly limited. So all we've got is just video footage. So what we can do next, I'm thinking, is to get a pump with an actual pressure gauge on it so that we can start knowing how much pressure we actually put into our rockets when we fly them. And between both of them, we should have a much more solid rocket next time. And that's all for this video. Next time we should have a much more stable rocket, so we'll see how that pans out, and yeah, catch you later.